Solana. Solana against BTC. Here we are for Solana. Okay, Solana had a very nice mountain range. We slice through the mountain range. We're right on top of the skinny pink line. Will we slice through the skinny pink line? It remains to be seen. Uh, this is a very noisy area. So my guess is Solana will head towards the noisy area, which is at sub 0 0.001. So from sub uh, from 0 0.0023 to 0 0.001, it will be more than 50%, 60% maybe. On average, yeah, about 60%. So feels to me like there could be still uh, much more downside to come for Luna against, uh, uh, sorry, Sol against BTC. I just don't think that um, now is a good time to be making entries. Uh, I mean, if we see bullish momentum coming in, hey, great, uh, we will take moves towards the upside. But yeah, we're right on top of the skinny pink line. We have already touched it actually. So once you touch the skinny pink line, sure, there could be rallies, but this is actually the start of the end, the beginning of the end for the uh, bullish run. Uh, even we, we might even get a rally uh, higher, right? Higher high, but yeah, I still feel that eventually we will come back lower, right? Um, Saul had a very, very uh, great run, right? Um, yeah, as long as you're above the skinny pink line, we remain biased bullish. But once you touch it, mm, we're switching. We are switching bias. Uh, there could still be rallies here and there, but we're switching bias. Saul against USDT, yes sir. Uh, we saw an inverse head and shoulders, sorry, a head and shoulders over here, and things are popping lower for uh, Luna. We actually have a target over here at $70.84. I think we're gonna blow past this uh, into 60 something. I think these lows are going to be taken out at around 65, point number 66. Yeah, I think we're gonna go down uh, to $65, right? So now, right now we're at 94, uh, and we've already sliced through the skinny pink line. So again, more downside is to be expected for Sol against USDT. If I had to count the waves down, this would be a one, two, three, four, five. I think there's another wave down five before we see some sort of a bounce back up. We still have the skinny pink line. Even if we do bounce back up, I, I'm afraid that we might still get uh, much more downside, right? A, B, C kind of a chart pattern. And then maybe we will see a recovery for um, Sol against USDT towards the upside. So at this point of time, as it stands based on price action, more downside is actually expected for Sol. And the boys and I will probably be taking trades towards the downside. We'll probably be shorting Sol when the opportunity presents itself. I think it's not too far away, so there you go.